Hello everyone, I'm Anna Harps and welcome back to my channel. Today is Decision Day. I am going to be reviewing Married at First Sight. It's a reality TV show where experts match singles and they meet and marry for the very first time on wedding day. Okay, so today is decision day to decide whether or not they want to remain married. Before I begin the review, make sure that you hit that like button down below, subscribe, comment, share my video, and hit that notification button, and then that way you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video. So, the first couple that I am going to review is Jasmina and Michael. Okay, they haven't consummated their marriage as of yet, as you guys already know. Um, one thing that the two have in common is they have, you know, shared values, you know, such as, you know, love for their family. But this is decision day and um, they've been together for uh, two months and they still come across to me as just basically being friends. Okay, so... This particular couple, they argued more than they laughed or even, you know, smiled, okay? But they're on the couch and it's time for them to make their decision and they feel like they have progressed and that they are in a good space right now. So anyway, Michael still is concerned about the um, lack of intimacy and Jasmina said that, you know, she's just like still not attracted to him. Okay, so it's time for them to make the decision whether or not if they want to remain married. And guess what? Jasmina and Michael both decided that they wanted to remain married. And I was not ready for this one. When I tell you this knocked me off my feet when they both said that they wanted to be married, to remain married. I almost passed out. But anyway, that's their decision. And um, good luck to them. Uh, this is the caveat, though. They have decided that they're not going to move in as husband and wife immediately. So we'll see. This, the reunion is next week. So we'll see whether or not they uh, remained uh, married. Okay, because it's been known by the time the couples get to reunion, some of them are already um, divorced. Such as there was a couple in the beginning, they never even made it up to the hotel room before they decided that they wanted to get a divorce. But anyway, we'll see um, at the reunion what happens with this particular couple. And so the next couple that we're going to review is Elijah and Katina. If you remember, Elijah Wan was very critical towards Katina. Um, every episode, he just basically, you know, put her down. But see, this is the thing. Katina feels like the relationship is on an incline. So Dr. Pepper brought up the issues that Katina and Elijah had, and she asked Katina, she was like, well, what about you um, completing school? Um, Elijah says that he wants to travel, and you guys also said that you wanted children. So, Katina said that her schooling is non-negotiable, as she should, and she said that the traveling and the baby, there could be some adjustments to that. So, anyway, this couple, it's time to make the decision whether or not they want to remain married. Okay, so before they make their decision, Elijah tells the experts that, you know, it's a big issue for him that Katina can't cook. He said that her food was inedible. And that just, like, gut punched me. Now, could you imagine your husband talking on national TV, telling everyone that your food is inedible. But anyway, time for decision. And, of course, Katina said she wanted to remain married. Now, Elijah also wants to remain married. Okay, only thing I have to say is just Lord have mercy on Katina. Okay, so the next couple I am going to review is Noy and Steve. If you remember, Steve doesn't have a traditional job, and um, that's a big issue for Noy. And he also doesn't even have a financial plan. Steve said that he's not going to do 
all the cooking and the cleaning and that, you know, in order for them to remain successful, that there's going to have to be a balance in the um, marriage. So, Noy said that she feels safe with Steve and, um, you know, Steve said that he loves Noy. And, I mean, there's no surprise here. The only issues that they had was Steve not having a traditional 9 to 5, although he does have earning uh, capability. And he also has a large pool of uh, networks to pull from if he decided that he does want a traditional 9 to 5. So, anyway, it's no surprise there that the two of them remained, um, wants to remain married. Because if you remember two episodes ago, Steve was in a jewelry store and uh, he bought um, Noy one of those factory engineered uh, diamonds. I don't know if he didn't know that, you know, we peep, I peep game. When I looked in the back, it said uh, factory engineered um, diamonds. So it's not a real diamond that he bought her, but you know, it's still the thought that counts. So anyway, we'll see at the reunion whether or not they remain married and I'm pulling for these two because um I think that the experts did a good job on matching these two okay so the last couple that we are going to review is going to be Lindsay and Mark if you remember Lindsay and Mark had a roller coaster of a ride they um argued every single episode and most of the arguments were bought upon by Lindsay. So they always had explosive fights and, you know, Mark is basically Lindsay's punching bag. But, you know, he said that, you know, Lindsay held him down, you know, what she did because he went through a whole lot of life experiences um, during the two months that they were married. He had a bug, bed bug issue. His mother and his grandmother are in nursing homes or some type of rehab. Mark's dog died and, you know, Lindsay held him down. She was right there for him and Mark appreciated that. And, you know, they seem like they have a ball together, you know, when they're not arguing. So, surprisingly, Mark says yes on decision day, and Lindsay says yes as well. Okay, so, congratulations to them, but Mark better just buckle up for this uh, bumpy roller coaster ride that he's about to embark on. So, leave your comment down below uh, as to whether or not you feel the couples will still be married when uh, we have the reunion, which is next week. So anyway, this concludes my review of season 14, Married at First Sight, and it's aired on Lifetime TV. I'm going to see you guys next week at the reunion. That concludes my review. I'm Anna Harps. I gotta go. See ya.